Hi everyone, I'm Frida, and I'm originally from China, and and but I'm living in Berlin now. And today, okay, today my I want to present my project "Live Surveillantly," and it's my working project so far. And before that, I would like to present myself a little bit. That um, I just graduated from Goldsmiths University of London last year, where I study contemporary art theory. And I, I there is some there are some artworks that I have worked before. And this is the three of them that I selected. And the left one is an installation that I presented in one of the exhibitions in London that um, explores the relationship between the tangibility of physical memory of ourselves and the intangibility of digital memories under the context of um, digital era. And the middle one was a just a mistake that discuss, discusses the um, the I suddenly forgot. <laughs> uh, it is the uh, discuss um um sounds and the the capitalism the the urban capitalism situations. But I devalue uh did de 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 visualize a lot of things, but just present a graphic. But so I just trying to use sounds to present um sort of music to show how capitalism sounds like and uh, the right one is my very first art project which um, explores the relationship um, between the identity of self and our body and so i combined performance and photography with sociology mm. Here's the project I'm working on, and there are um, so this project aims to dissolve the problem of um, big data and the ubiquity of surveillance under the system of urban capitalism, and. As we know that um, um, artificial intelligence and governmental surveillance and and big data have already embedded in our society, but we are taking this in uh, for granted, but without noticing it, how it translates our human bodies to merely uh, mere algorithms and numbers. So this project consists of um, six chapters, but um, each and each chapter is talking about different um, aspects of um, surveillance in the society, but all of them were only included in only one project and the background is just uh, as I'm just showing the research and the research um, image that I have right now. Um, so the background is the um, it's a 3D program program that I work on um, presenting um, stimulation of the urban landscape. The first chapter, here is my manuscript, and the first chapter is about mapping existence. Um, so I have this inspir uh, inspiration from my traveling um, experience in China that when I went back to China, that I because I have lived in London for a year and and I live in Taiwan for four years. Um, so I when I went back to China, I suddenly feel a uh, very sub, very shocked that uh, literally every place you need your ID card, um, include um, and in tube station you need to. Um, um, have the inspection from the security and you need your ID card to check in every hotel and every train station. So I realized that our physical insistence is not that important anymore, but more important, what is more important is our um, digital insistence on the monitor from the, uh, on the monitor of the governmental surveillance and how they translate our existence to uh, just a uh, algorithm and uh, data. And chapter two is, uh, it means that um, it's, it's 
more about social media that nowadays we everyone has social media and and but um so we post a lot and, and share a lot about our life but we and so basically if we post posting anything suddenly and leave our profile blank they will realize that actually we look very dead um, from our profile because we have nothing to show to anyone and chapter three quantify body that uh here um this is the just the materials uh, and resources that i have that is very ironic that nowadays there are a bunch of um, apps that you can actually monitor and survey yourself that such as um, the apps um, for sleeping and calculating how many hours you sleep and how loud you snore last night and and you can also uh, if you are a freelancer you can you need to calculate how many hours you work every day or how many hours you work you focus on something in order to pr uh, in order to pr improve your your uh, con your con uh, focus and and also uh, everyone who use um go who use apple knows that there is an app called health and even calculates how many steps you work every day um so kept um chapter three eligible social means um is also an inspiration from china nowadays they have um some some social credit um, systems that can um, evaluate your behaviors to the society or your credit in to to predict if to predict your behavior and see if you are eligible to um, afford a house or um, if you are eligible to be a you know decent um, citizen in the society um, chapter five I didn't put any uh, images because it's hard to explain in that way um, I think everyone probably have has this um, experience that when we talk to somebody about, for instance, I you you want to buy a glasses um, recently, and then you talk to somebody about it, and the next morning there is a targeted ad just popped up on your phone, and you feel like your phone is listening to you, but actually it's more about um, how the machine learning and cap and, and the computer can predict and predict your searches on your phone and how they uh, analyze and calculate your searches and your behaviors which is very um very scary for my for me because um nowadays computers and algorithm actually do a better job than human brains and the chapter six i know you are watching is about um more about the user-generated surveillance systems that, um, for instance, we all have, lots of people have um, Instagram and we were um, like KOLs and celebrities and all the brands online, they're really upset with um, um, monitoring their uh, insights and impressions because they know people are watching them themselves and they want to um, present the, the perfect side of themselves to the to all to all other people and they really enjoy looking at all the information all the data and all the analysts of them their profile in order to reach a self optimization so so this is um all the theoretical research of my project but um haven't started it um to do the uh do the do the re visual um, installation or the next I haven't started the next step but um, for the next step I would like to combine the installation with digital media in order to present um, the ideas that I have gained thank you uh, what how do you think what is the key material? Uh, you said installation, but will this be your uh, main 
material using to actualize this uh, project. And yeah, the follow-up question is, where do you think it should be exhibited? Do you imagine it on a specific location, country, that it should be exhibited, this uh, series of works? Mm, uh, my, I think my materials that I want to use at, so far, I imagine it, is, should be um, 3D programs that I'm working on that is a better way to present um, digital device and the surveillance. But I also, uh, I also want to combine the um, physical materials like something that I'm familiar with, like fabrics or furnitures or something that very impossible to um, digitalize. And uh, the second question, um, I I don't have any specific location have in my mind, but I think it can be anywhere that the country is okay with it <laughs> because it's kind of pol political. Thank you. And I just wondered uh, about, because now we are in Berlin, so how is Berlin affecting your work because you said in China it's really heavily policed the surveillance. Mm. London is even, even a little bit less, I would say. Okay, so what about Berlin? Because in Berlin so far we don't have a camera on every corner, so far. Mm, yeah, that's what I feel about Berlin too. That um, Berlin is relatively free in terms of this compared to China, um, but I don't think my project is. Um, completely about my country because um, I think surveillance nowadays especially under the system of capitalism is actually li literally everywhere um, so um, for the difference I don't see uh, too many differences between two countries but yeah but I think Berlin indeed is more uh, free for me to be Safer. an artist here yeah. Thank you. Any questions from the audience? For your um, chapter five, we know what you prefer. I know you didn't have anything, but what were your plans for that? Like, what would you have shown if you had something? Like, what were your ideas of, like, we know what you would prefer? I think it's, um, at the moment, I really don't know, because I don't, I, I don't know, I don't want my project just um, copying how it shows here. Mm -hmm. And, and, but I imagine, if I can, I can manage that. That I can cr um, learn the algorithm that can um, pre interact with the viewers, and I, it can um, calculate and predict your behaviors mm -hmm. right there. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. And I just uh, your artwork remind not remind me, but you might like to have a look at the work by. Actually, artist who's originally from Taiwan, but for most of her life she's been living abroad, like in Europe or in the States. And her name is Shuli Chang. Have you ever, ever, ever heard about her? She had this excellent pavilion, Taiwan pavilion, on her last Venice Biennale, we just finished in the summer. And it was pretty much similar kind of a subject. It was like exploring the surveillance mm. and was all like involved including the sexuality but it was like talking about the panopticum that we are also like under the observation and you've got just one person but the one person can observe like everybody pretty much but you are never aware of it if it's just you or the other people mm -hmm. as well so i mean she made a like a really interesting installation digital installation animation so that was a very interesting project. Yeah, I'll huh? look it up. Okay. So, any more questions? I can ask So, um, I think that the project uh, is very interesting, but I would like to ask you. Uh, uh, I I got that uh, you have studied at London, right? Yeah. And why uh, why have you chosen uh, Berlin over London? Well, this is a very realistic question because, um, as we all know, Britain very 
has very shitty immigration policy <laughs> ah, okay. that as a Chinese I can't stay there and uh, that's why I love Germany so much and and also w another reason because um, Berlin I think compared to London is more artistic and more, have more freedom for artists and they yeah this is the reason okay thank you and I would like I would like also to ask you um, do you see just negative sides about uh, uh, profiling uh, each one or also some positive sides about that? Yeah, I think everything has um, both sides of good or bad and um, like for instance I think um, like two years ago I really think um, social media and digital device have so many benefits so for in instance um, you can you using Tinder to go on a date and and you you can also make a lot of friends that uh, really resonate with you instead of um, instead of um, hanging out with someone you don't like in the reality so um, and you you have lots of uh, you can get a lot of benefits from the social media but um, what I want to do because I think um, I I want to address the questions that we have uh, ignored and it, which is also um, dangerous for us because we didn't realize that uh, the fail surveillance and the big brother is watching us. Okay, thank you. Yeah, basically this is a kind of a, yeah creative thinking. Like I would see, I would imagine it as also having some kind of interaction uh, with the the observer or the yeah. Of the when this is exhibited, do you have some ideas about if you th you're thinking that it should have interaction about using new technologies, new things about camera mapping and yeah face recognition on the uh, final result? Do you have any kind of crazy ideas? If you, you have the resources, the resources. Interaction. Yes, interaction. Mm. Yeah, I I also imagine that my project can present as a um, performance that I can include the um, audience with it. But because so far I haven't really got into the actual process, so I don't know yet. <laughs>